Hey guys, it's another 30 days of WrestleMania, checking in with WrestleMania 2, just in the can here. Um, I may have mentioned on the last one, I expected this to be a really, really odd one, um, but it, it, it ended up being okay. Um, I, I, I thought WrestleMania 2 was just supposed to be really awkward, because it was the one that, that, that appeared in three different cities, there was... A, it seemed like they OD'd on celebrities for this one. It's They were just crawling out of the woodwork, maybe because they had so many locations. Um, and also the awkwardly out of place, out of their comfort zone um, uh, celebrities on commentary, which, you know, always works out so very well for the WWE, right? Um, especially Kathy Lee, Gifford Crosby, whatever, Stills and Nash, whatever her name was at the time. Um, you know, uh, Elvira is always really interesting. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's still like, there were a lot of good matches on here. Um, uh, animal, animal, uh, uh, George Steele, uh, against, uh, Macho Man Randy Savage, for instance. Um, you had some early Jake the Snake Roberts, as you're seeing, if you're on the video, uh, the, the, the boxing match is classic. I think it was a subject of the WrestleMania rewind. Um, I, I keep saying, I love like Roddy Piper telling the story of <laughs> telling the story of, uh, how Mr. T screwed that up. Um, battle Royal is always good. Um, but it, it's, it, 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 yeah, it really came off. Um, there was a really interesting, their, their tagline where the, was this is, is this is WrestleMania two. This is what the world has come to. Which is kind of something I can say for the WrestleMania now. Um, <laughs> it's, that's such an odd tagline. And, and, and I guess there's a reason it's never really kind of repeated. Because uh, it, it was so peculiar at the time. Um, another one I, I think is going to be featured on the Ma the Wrestling Mayhem Show watch parties is uh, JYD and Tito Santana against the Funk Brothers. Early Terry Funk there. Well, not even early Terry Funk. Like That is like after NWA Championship Terry Funk, I believe. Um, but worthwhile. Uh, you got uh, the Dream Team, uh, Brutus Beefcake, and Greg the Hammer Valentine taking on the British Bulldogs. Um with Ozzy Osbourne in the in the corner, um, tremendous stuff. Like I said, this place is a lousy with celebrities. Not to mention like wrestler, the, the NFL people, NFL football players uh, in the battle royal for this one. Um, but all over the place, it's really cool to kind of look in because this is before my time. I started probably watching about a year or two, uh, within a year or two of this event happening. I think. Um, so this is kind of like the uh, the the before my time one, and you get to see how things were, and, and that they got so into it with so many celebrities. Um, I, it definitely worthwhile. I, I, it's at least talked about one. Uh, it does get a little awkward. There's a, there's a set where um, I, I I forget who the celebrity is, but it's Vince McMahon sitting in these like plush chairs, and I, apparently they called the match this way too. Uh, with, with whatever celebrity that was with him. Um, and they keep checking back in with him. Um, I, I, I got to keep thinking, like, at the time, you're thinking this is 1986. You're doing multiple locations. You're tossing it back and forth. This had to be a logistical nightmare to put on a wrestling show to this effect. Plus, each venue only had four matches, and the rest was closed-circuited to them in the venue, apparently. Um, like I said, a whole different feel, and you can see, you know... This is before we really got the it's a giant OMG spectacle that is the WrestleMania 3. I You can see I'm really looking forward to get to the WrestleMania 3. It's one that I've watched so many times over the years. And and, and the one that, you know, is still the record, I believe. Um, and I, I'm surprised they really haven't reached that yet with some of these bigger stadiums that they've been reaching into. I guess they're looking at it for, uh, for Dallas. So... Let me know what did you think. Have you watched WrestleMania 2 recently or, or have some memories of it that you want to share? Please let us, let us know at Mayhem Show on Twitter um, as well as on uh, this YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. We do have a playlist with all the uh, 30 days of WrestleMania. Let's see if I can pull it off. It's going to be really sad if I don't because it's right there on the internet, isn't it? And, of course, uh, I'm at Sorgatron on Twitter. We'll see you next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.